welcome to one and all present here. On behalf of Shantiniketan International School, we feel privileged that we got such a great opportunity to conduct this grand event on national level. I welcome to all on this one week national level teacher development program by my heartful welcome to Dr. Satendra Gupta, the chairperson of CTEF Delhi NCR chapter. My heartful welcome to Dr. Sanjay Kumar, the Secretary General of CTEF Delhi NCR chapter. A very great proverb is said by Alan Williams that in learning you will teach and in teaching you will learn. So every teacher needs to improve, not because they are not good enough, but because they can be even better. Coming with this great proverb, now may I request principal of Shantiniketan International School, Amravati, to address the event. A warm and pleasant good morning to one and all. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all in this grand evening. It is a matter of great pride for Shantiniketan International School, Amirati, Maharashtra, to organize this one-week national level teacher training program in association with Council for Teacher Education Foundation, Delhi NCR chapter, which gives a platform to a numerous brains combined with futuristic visions. I am also delighted to state that we are getting a huge response from all over the India for this national level teacher development program. So, I am proud to say that we are having more than 1,000 registrations for this one week national level teacher development program. First of all, my heartfelt greetings to the Honorable Founder President of Maratha Shikshan Sansta, Sri Dada Sahib Shri Koyas Sir, a continuous source of inspiration. I also salute to the fireless efforts of the Secretary of Maratha Shikshan Sansta, who is having an energetic and dynamic personality to enrich the teacher's labor to become a perfect role model for the students. Shantiniketan International School Amrati is situated in the heart of Amrati Maharashtra. Our school has opened its door from the year 2016-2017 in a pollution-free environment. The roots of our school are strongly embedded into the motto of a Shantiniketan International School, inspiring success in every child. I am proud to say that our school is the first school in Vigarbha region using 3D classrooms. For the, the reform in education, the teacher training program plays an important role. Teachers also have to keep themselves updated with the changing environment. The teacher training program is helpful for teachers to improve their efficiency, ability, knowledge, and motivation for their work. Actually, teaching and learning are always like two parallel lines that are bound to go together. Hence, Teachers must get training at regular intervals of time to get there to update their knowledge. I welcome here on behalf of Shantiniketan International School, Amrauti, Maharashtra, all the participants who are eagerly waiting for this most special event. Especially thanks and welcome to the chairperson and the secretary general of Teacher Education Foundation Delhi NCR chapter, Dr. Satyendra Gupta sir and Dr. Sanjay Kumar Chaudhary sir. As well as I am, I welcome all the honorable resource person, especially today's resource person, Dr. Parpita Vishwasma, as they make themselves available for this grand event national level online teacher training program. Let now me close by wishing you all a delightful and a stimulating week. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam.
Now, may I request Dr. Satyendra Gupta, sir, the chairperson of CTEF Delhi NCR chapter, to please address the event. Namaskar. Thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Shanti Niketan International School, Amravati, Maharashtra. For organizing this one week national level teacher development program. So, definitely, it is a matter of proud to us. We are from the Delhi NCR region supporting the Shanti Niketan School in the Amravati, Bihar. So, Amravati, Maharashtra. And as I came to know with the participants, uh, those who registered, they are uh, throughout the country. So, definitely, it is a very good initiative by a school. And as we all know that we are working in the area of the teacher education. So I am happy to learn that you now we are having a strong relationship between the teacher education institutions and the school. And in this webinar, we are having the resource persons also from the all corners of the country. And basically they are in the teacher education. So next time, I would wish to see a webinar in which the school teachers should share their expertise and share their experiences with us, with our peer MED students, our DLED students, and our teacher educators. So that's why that will establish a good relationship between the schools and the teacher education institutions. Because we also want to learn from the school okay, what new is going on, what is the demand of the parents, what is the demand of the school, and how the B.Ed, M.Ed colleges, D.L.Ed colleges should prepare the teachers. So once again, I would extend my thanks to the principal of the Shanti Ketan International School, Ms. Ismita Thakreji, and the chairman of the school, Mr. B.R. Goyar, sir, for organizing this wonderful event and I hope all participants will enjoy it and have some new learning and this learning will go to the classrooms. What you will learn in during these seven days, I wish that learning should go to the last student of the class and teachers should develop, teachers should enhance their skills. They should modify their behavior as per their learning which our respected resource persons will share in today's event. So once again, thank you from the side of CTEF and uh, Mr. Sanjay Kumarji who coordinated very well and he is doing her, his all efforts for the success of the CTEF Valley NCR chapter and it is once again I wish the school and express my gratitude to the school for conducting this wonderful webinar. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir, and all the best for the participants and have a good learning. Thank you very much, sir, for your such a great motivational words, which really inspires us in our education life. Moving to our today's first day session, it's my privilege to introduce our today's energetic trainer. She has completed her education in MA, History and Education, MED, MPhil, and PhD. She is the teacher, educator, and a distinguished author in the field of teacher education. She has been awarded with the prestigious Best Professor Award by International Education Awards and Kites in the year 2020. She is also a research center coordinator of Center for Education Research and Development. At present, she is a professor and head of the department at School of Education Admis University. Yes, she is none other than the energetic person, Dr. Pratitha Biswas Man. I request Pratitha Biswas Madam to please continue our today's training session. Namaskar and a very good morning to all of you. I hope that I am audible and uh, thanks to the organizers 
specially to uh, gupta ji uh, doc professor gupta and uh, professor kumar uh, for uh, actually involving me in this program at the same time i would like to thank uh, the chairperson or the chairman of the school as well as principal ma'am of shanti niketan international school so it has been a great uh, moment of coordination as uh, professor gupta has already stated so i would go by that line uh, that uh, there should be a very much close coordination between the school as well as the teacher education institution because uh, through the school only the teacher trainees will be going and they will be making their mark in the long run so if there is a close contact with the school uh, with the teacher education institution then only it would be a grand uh, success i mean a professional success because the teacher educators are coming uh, to give their training to the teacher trainees and at the same time the trainees are getting their uh, innovation evolvement uh, through uh, activity based learning and practical oriented situation and what best that can be other than the school it is always better to give deliberations and uh, give a mark of uh, respect to the progressive development of the 21st century but it is also imperative and as well as very much important for every one of us to know especially the teacher educators the teacher trainers as well as the teacher training uh, to know a practical oriented approach a practical oriented innovative approach as well as a proper approach in the teaching learning of the 21st century so with that i would like to present my slide uh, if uh, the slide is presented to me uh, i would request the organizers please continue am i audible yeah yeah right now you are audible am i audible now yes okay so spin uh, can i can we go to the next slide the third slide okay so speaking about uh, the different disciplines okay so there is a technology uh, there is a fine arts and the creative arts as well as uh, the uh, music so when we are interrelating between the different disciplines that is the technology as well as the fine arts as well as the creative arts so here i have stated in the slide music but now uh, we find that there are different uh, types of creative arts uh, that is fine arts yoga and uh, as well as yoga education as well as we find that music is something which is very much uh, important both for the creative aspect and and as, as well as for the creativity uh, sect and uh, we find that in this sector where Uh, technology and technological innovation is very much important both for uh, science objective reasoning as well as invention as well as imagination uh, in the fine art sector also the east meets the west and here we have a very different responsibility as a teacher educator because the teacher educator teaches the trainee teacher and now the trainee teacher when goes to the school in a professional setup as a assistant teacher or as a teacher he or she has the greater responsibility to teach the students because this is this children who are going uh, for the future they are the future generations and in the 21st century who better than them who will be learning about innovation about the different strategies and about the different uh, techniques of education so next slide please now uh, i will just focus on the traditional teaching method now we know all very well that uh, before the covid when there was a, uh, a time which was quite natural uh, which was quite normal 
we used to actually depend on the chalk and the talk method so the chalk and the talk method we all know very well that uh, teacher was actually the uh, sender and at the same time the student was the receiver so the sender and the receiver uh, they both used to mutually collaborate with each other but in the context of teaching we find that it was the teacher who was actually giving the messages of the signals in a more uh, wider aspect and the students was receiving it in a proper way and that is when the students feel that uh, they will be learning the sincere students who are taking all the learnings as well as the developments in a particular way so the educational material during that time was the source of the reference of the information which was very important for every uh, student to know and the teacher was the main one who was responsible so that they he or she can send the context in the long run now uh, coming to the next slide uh, just see the picture now when there was only a lecture method that is the chalk and the talk, talk method maybe the teacher used to give the information to the students but it was only a one way flow of information because during that time it was only the teacher who was sending the information the students may be receiving it but not in a proper interactive manner so it was only based on the lecture notes and the textbooks and everything was more on a rote learning process so the plug and play method rather than the practical aspects when i was opening the session i spoke about the plug and play method the innovative and the practical aspect rather than speaking about the traditional teaching and training methods now uh, there was also during the traditional times there was a very insufficient interaction with the students in the classroom also because there were a lot of students in the classroom uh, who were finding it quite difficult to interact and some and the system was such that during that time it was quite uh, difficult Uh, for the teachers to interact with each and every student but to tell you very frankly during the uh, innovative uh, methods which have been followed i would request everyone to be on mute please because uh, it disturbs the uh, person who is speaking so the practical aspect was very much absent during the traditional teaching method and we find that there is insufficient interaction also because there was no such uh, to tell you frankly there was no such uh, training or there was no such uh, type of a teaching where everyone used to interact and the students were given the chance to interact so they were more dependent on the theory in fact uh, during the time of 1995 97 2001 Uh, i would like to state no offense meant to anyone that uh, during the teacher training uh, program uh, that is why the national council for teacher education felt the need to develop the program the bed med and the other teacher education program in a very advanced practical and proper light uh, because during that time the only the theory and the school teaching practice was there but now this practice has become very much innovative and we find that it is something which is a very proper thing in the long run because of course it is uh, uh, quite imperative to understand and know that without the practical aspect without any sort of uh, practical aspect it is quite uh, difficult and as well as not uh, quite uh, uh, important also during that time that the traditional teaching learning methods were the only sources of uh, learning and teaching during that time and especially in the teacher education domain now we find that it is quite uh, important and imperative also to know that there is a innovative tools process that is the multimedia learning process through the multimedia learning process we know especially in the uh, schools who are especially and uh, having their innovative centers innovative ideas the leadership 
development team of the school they are preparing the children in such a way and the students in the trainee uh, teachers or in some of the international departments and in the colleges as well as in the uh, teacher training education centers it has been done in a very proper way so that they learn and they also give uh, that amount of learning to the trainee teachers as well so multimedia traditional problem based learning which was before but it was done in a very methodical and proper way the teacher also uses multimedia now the teacher or the master teacher they have become so much uh, important in the long run that they have all the knowledges to use the multimedia content also so that they can modify the content of the material so in the long run it will help the a teacher to represent in a very proper way in a meaningful way and using the different multimedia elements now we are only not only dependent on powerpoint we are also dependent on canva we are also dependent on canvas we are also dependent on very much important aspects of the multimedia presentation like video presentation youtube presentations at the same time we are also having musical uh, representations and presentations in a very difficult and uh, different line maybe something which is very much important as well as imperative in the long run at the same time uh, we are also finding a lot of things which are dependent on the concept mapping or the mind mapping now this type of a mapping is something which is a visual and a graphic effort and it shows how the students think a topic or project so the students are given group work and they believe that the relationship is there between two or more concepts or ideas and it tries to connect the new ideas with the existing ideas that is there is a dot we give a dot in a blank paper now it is the student or the, the teacher trainees uh, development which is being given by their master trainers or by the teacher educators to fill in that gap so that is actually the concept mapping and the mind map but to tell you very frankly the teacher or the teacher educator should be the guide they should not take the student taken for granted they should always have this uh, he or she is a guide by their side he or she is a motivator or a supervisor by their side it should not be so that the uh, you are teacher trainee you are a graduate or a post graduate that is why you are being taken for granted that you know the concept mapping or the mind mapping this should not be so so there there are a lot of benefits for this concept as well as mind mapping uh, it would uh, definitely promote the pedagogical knowledge and the thinking of ideas at the same time as i have already stated to you it should also involve oh innovative thinking ideas the concept the concepts and the assimilation this should be done in a proper way so that they will be able to do it in a very proper and in a very proper manner now when we are teaching teaching between maybe when we are actually teaching the teacher trainees in a perfect school manner we want to make them a perfect teacher so there should be also in that period there should be also a teaching with a sense of humor uh, cheez jo hona chahiye wo hai ki aap agar humor life mein nahi laate hai agar aap humor life mein nahi laate hai to it becomes something जो एक स्टूडेंट को बहुत बोर कर देते हैं सो एवरी वन लव द टीचर विद अ सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर कुछ टीचर लोग ऐसे हैं जो ओनली आते हैं लेक्चर्स या प्रेजेंटेशन इनोवेटिव भी हो सकते हैं वो करके वो बोल के वो चले जाते हैं ठीक है ना लेकिन कुछ टीचर ऐसे हैं कि जो हमारे हमको बहुत इनोवेशन लर्निंग टीचिंग सब कुछ एक साथ दे जाते हैं उसके साथ ह्यूमर भी दे जाते हैं सो देर शुड बी अ कॉर्डियलिटी कुछ कॉर्डियल रिलेशन अच्छा रिलेशन हो जाना चाहिए 
between the professors and the students so kuch डिफिकल्ट लेक्चर जब हो होना चाहिए तो टीचर एडुकेशन शुड प्रिपेयर इन अ प्रॉपर वे इन अ वेरी गुड वे सो दैट कुछ ह्यूमर तो होना ही चाहिए क्योंकि वो डिफिकल्ट लेक्चर स्टूडेंट कैसे लेंगे हम अगर कुछ सिनेमेटोग्राफिक एग्जाम्पल्स देते हैं कुछ प्लेस का एग्जाम्पल देते हैं जो बहुत पॉपुलर है तो वो डिफिकल्ट लेक्चर हम लोगों को बहुत चुटकी में स्टूडेंट को याद आ जाता है कि हाँ वो एग्जाम्पल दिए थे अगर हम कुछ इंक्लूसिव एडुकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम पढ़ा रहे हैं विच इज बहुत गंभीर सब्जेक्ट है बहुत सी चीजें हैं हमको समझना है द टीचर एडुकेटर शुड डू अ सेंस ऑफ वेरी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नॉलेज ड्यूरिंग देयर कुछ क्या करना पड़ेगा एक हम तारे जमीन पे का एक एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं ब्लैक का एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हैं तो हम लोग जिसको पढ़ा रहे हैं अफकोर्स वो जो डिफिकल्ट लेक्चर ऑन इंक्लूसिव एडुकेशन हाँ बहुत सी चीजें हैं जो हम फर्स्ट नॉलेज गेन कर रहे हैं एज अ टीचर ट्रेनिंग तो हम अगर वो हम रिलेट कर सके इट इज कॉल्ड रिलेटेड टाइप ऑफ अ टीचिंग अगर वो रिलेट कर सके ह्यूमर कुछ उसमें डाल सके रिलेट विथ ह्यूमर एंड ह्यूमरस नॉलेज तब स्टूडेंट्स बहुत अच्छी तरह से ये जानते हैं और रिलेट भी कर सकते एट द सेम टाइम जो हम पढ़ा रहे हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल टीचर एडुकेशन इंक्लूसिव एडुकेशन फिलोसॉफिकल बेसिस ऑफ एडुकेशन ये कोर्स हम लोगों को इंटरेस्टिंग हो जाना होगा बिकॉज अगर हम कोर्स इंटरेस्टिंग नहीं करेंगे तो स्टूडेंट्स लोग भी कैसे जान पाएंगे एंड ऑफकोर्स इट शुड बी रिलीवेंट टू द सब्जेक्ट इट शुड बी अ समथिंग विच इज कंट्रीव टू द एनवायरमेंट फॉर लर्निंग दिस कम्युनिकेशन सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द इनोवेटिव टूल्स आई वॉज रिवियरली स्पीकिंग अबाउट द इनोवेटिव टूल्स नाउ वी शुड कम टू सम ऑफ द कॉन्टेक्स लाइक जेड टू ए अप्रोच Now Z to A approach क्या है Z to A is first हमको application part उनको समझा देना है Like for example morning assembly. Morning assembly is a very important and the most prime part in the when you are teaching in a school. So it is always better. For example अगर हम morning assembly theory में पढ़ाते हैं तो पहले हम को वो स्टूडेंट्स को मॉर्निंग असेंबली प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट में समझाना पड़ेगा अगर हम वो प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट में वो नहीं समझाएंगे तो वो थ्योरी देख के वो बोर हो जाएंगे सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ जेड टू ए अप्रोच एंड ये एप्लीकेशन हमको वर्चुअल इंडस्ट्री टीचिंग ट्रेनिंग ये पहले हमको करना पड़ेगा फिर उसके बाद में अगर हम थ्योरी देते हैं तो देन ओनली द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू गेट इंटरेस्ट इन दिस टीचिंग ट्रेनिंग सेक्टर एट द सेम टाइम हमको ये भी देखना है कि ये जो सब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एडुकेशन इफेक्टिव क्लासरूम टीचिंग जो मेरा टाइटल है आज का इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी मच इंटर रिलेटेड विथ क्लासरूम मैनेजमेंट और मैनेजमेंट ऑफ टीचिंग so motivation is something which is explained in a very proper manner there agar hum classroom management mein ye nahi karenge so it becomes very difficult in the long run so of course hum yahi janenge ke this is something which is uh, a practical aspect and the practical oriented aspect as well we know very well those who are here teacher educators ke simulation ya micro teaching kya hai तो माइक्रो टीचिंग और सिम्यूलेशन इट इज लाइक अ लाइफ लाइक मॉडल आप पियर टू पियर टीचिंग करते हैं यू आर टीचिंग योर ओन पियर्स लाइक यू आर टीचिंग योर ओन फ्रेंड्स सो ये पियर टू पियर टीचिंग इज समथिंग व्हिच शुड बी अ वेरी इफेक्टिव प्रैक्टिस अगर ये इफेक्टिव प्रैक्टिस नहीं होता देन इट बिकम्स अ वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट थिंग इन द लॉन्ग रन एंड वी फाइंड दैट ये जो एक्चुअली हम लोग करना चाहते हैं दिस सिम्यूलेशन सिम्यूलेशन इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट एंड हम एक्चुअली ये सिम्यूलेशन के द्वारा 
एक डेफिनेशन एक अटेम्प्ट ये किया जाएगा कि दे दे शुड बी डन इन अ वेरी प्रॉपर वे जैसे टीचिंग लर्निंग उन लोगों को प्रैक्टिस में आ जाना चाहिए बिफोर दे गो टू द टीचिंग लर्निंग स्कूल एंड गिव दिस टीचिंग टू द स्टूडेंट्स टू द स्टूडेंट्स बिटवीन क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व और टू द प्राइमरी स्टूडेंट्स इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट सिम्यूलेशन एंड माइक्रो टीचिंग ऑल्सो कुछ एटीट्यूड चेंज होना होता है इस पीयर टू पीयर टीचिंग में वी गेट अ लॉट ऑफ एटीट्यूड चेंज डिसीजन मेकिंग स्किल्स कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स कम्युनिकेशन बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाता है वेन वी डू दिस पीयर टू पीयर टीचिंग एंड साइकोमोटो स्किल कैन बी टॉट टू द स्टूडेंट यूजिंग सिम्यूलेशन सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट because uh, these things are uh, quite important for not only for the teacher educator but also for the trainee teacher so that when they become teachers in the long run they become a very important part in the long run next slide please now coming when we are speaking about effective classroom teaching there should be the role of the teacher in a very important aspect hum bahut achhi tarah se jante hai that in the year 2000 the teachers were actually only teachers okay so this actually become a changed aspect when covid came into the picture so uh, the covid bahut si cheez jo destroy kiya hai lekin kuch cheez hai jo develop bhi kiya hai so pehle teachers jo tha wo tha teachers actually so they were actually the gurus the guides everyone last word on the syllabus evaluation kuch topic introduce karte hai to sab kuch teachers ke upar hi tha and of course i told you about the talk and the talk approach structured syllabus kuch tha last 10 20 years ka to wo log hi wo cheez teachers practice karte the but now after the time or during uh, the time of covid things changed rapidly to kya ho, uh, ho gaya ke teachers became mentors now during that time there were lot of uh, uh, students who were very much depressed they were very much uh, in the long run uh, not knowing what to do especially kuch final year ka students the uh, jo log Uh, कुछ नहीं कर रहे करना चाहते थे या उन लोगों का बहुत डिप्रेशन हो गया था सो टीचर्स केम फॉर हेल्प एंड दे बिकेम द फ्रेंड मोटिवेटर एज वेल एज द ग्राइड एट द सेम टाइम दे बिकेम समथिंग बियॉन्ड द क्लासरूम पहले तो टीचर्स क्लासरूम के अंदर ही जो गाइड करना था करते थे मैक्सिमम टीचर्स ऑफकोर्स देर आर ऑलवेज एक्सेप्शन there are always exceptions uh, like tare zameen pe uh, the main protagonist which was played by amir khan uh, during that time there was no covid but still we found that he was a, a great teacher so aise to teacher humko milte hi hai but exceptional cases but most of the teachers they became mentors and they became tech savvy they became new age savvy and they became the new age mentor at the same time kuch चीज जो बियॉन्ड द क्लासरूम होता था द काउंसिलिंग द डिफरेंट सेशन दैट वॉज समथिंग विच वॉज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंटली प्रैक्टिस नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज नाउ स्टूडेंट्स का क्या हुआ कि वो दे बिकेम फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स दे बिकेम लर्नर्स दे वेर एक्चुअली टेकिंग देयर क्लासेस बिफोर दैट दे वेर एक्चुअली टेकिंग क्लासेस फ्रॉम देयर टीचर्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टेक्स बुक्स कुछ चीज टीचर ट्रेनिंग को वैसे भी प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट होना चाहिए वो लोग वैसे भी उसमें माहिर थे बट स्ट्रक्चर सिलेबस वॉज देयर सो कॉम्पिटिटिव एनवायरमेंट भी थे बिकॉज दीज आर सम ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स विच आर क्वाइट कॉम्पिटिटिव एंड दैट्स वाई इट वॉज वेरी मच प्रोफेशनल कोर्स ऑल्सो सो कुछ कॉम्पिटिशन तो एनवायरमेंट में था बट ड्यूरिंग द टाइम of 2020 until now i have taken it till 25 because now world has become a global village and uh, yeah actually rapidly it's changing so mentors peers uh, sab kuch ek ho gaye the mentors were actually like student friendly teachers peers they were more friendly than before and 
आउटसाइड क्लास में जब रिलेशन होता है ज्यादातर हम क्लोज हो जाते हैं सो स्ट्रक्चर सिलेबस से हम जो एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिस किया दैट इज द सेल्फ स्टडी लर्निंग टू लर्न इट्स एक्चुअली अ लाइफ लॉन्ग लर्निंग प्रोसेस स्टूडेंट्स बिकेम लर्नर्स नाउ वेन वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग स्कूल एडुकेशन ऑल्सो the students started learning teacher education the students started learning environmental education the inclusive education etc etc so students became learners actually uh, the main uh, focus was to become a learner otherwise they will not be able to know it was not confined within the four walls or boundaries of the classroom at the same time collaborative environment was uh, very much practiced why because in the zoom session or in the uh, google classroom session the collaborative environment was uh, practiced in such a way because uh, electronically agar hum computer ke samne baithte hain aur collaborative environment or collaborative teaching agar hum seriously karna chahte hain to so we should be doing it in a proper way so that they should know that they should understand that how it becomes very much important for them in the long run so next slide four task of mentors mentors jo teachers actually jo teachers jisko hum mentors bol rahe hain unka fourth jo task hai actually ho gaya hai actually in the long run that is creating learning resources and tools delivering learning resources you can see the picture Engaging the learners creatively. अरे वो बच्चा मेहनती है. At the same time, evaluating the learners continuously. <laughs> If we are not going for the evaluation portion, then uh, of course it is becoming very much uh, uh, important to know about the evaluation as well as the uh, time aspect. And this is something which is very much important in the long run. next slide please so here in short this is actually a high end uh, uh, theory uh, portion with a practical aspect i would request you to go to the next slide which is the creating learning resources and tools uh, very shortly which is being practiced in high end teacher education institutions i am very proud to say that adamas university school of education we prepare our teacher trainees Uh, and in such a way that they can actually create learning resources and tools so we are quite proud and that is why this is a actually a live example what i am uh, deliberating to you today is being practiced to us more or less each and every day so some of them are case studies given by mentors slide presentations are very common but presentations through canva and uh, learning management systems like canvas they are something which the mentors and the uh, students they have their own online courses through canvas the micro teaching content they are very diversified and very much important and it becomes very much imperative in the long run to know this because when you are teaching in a international school when you are giving your you you are sending your information as a teacher to a high ended international school then this should be your knowledge as a teacher trainee and which should be given by your teacher educators of the 21st century because if you are giving your knowledge truly in a proper way through the chalk and talk method the students are not going to have their um, uh, interest their attention their uh, proper mannerism should be reflected in such a way that you have your evaluation ready in your hands and every student should have this uh, way to face the evaluation process next slide please so these are some of the curated uh, learning resources and uh, tools like youtube vimeo videos audios podcasts as well as uh, pdfs of the chapter studies and cases very important the journal articles and the chapters the charts infographics relevant humor content i am again stressing upon the human con uh, on the humor content uh, sorry uh, 
so this humor content is something which is very important important in the case uh, like if you are not including your humor content then it becomes uh, very much boring even in such a uh, creative and in a, a proper it atmosphere so even if you are uh, doing paid online courses or unpaid giving your uh, students the liberty to access the materials there should be something which should be having a content related to humor we are also having mooc massive open online courses uh, swam and swam prabha ye sab to hai at the same time 3d animated or augmented reality actually is a near future augmented reality or simulation content ye cheez uh virtual reality vr ye sab uh, teaching and learning uh, jo in the future hum uh, janenge ki ye isme hi hum actually de sakte hain can you please mute so e books of the national digital library is something which is very much important for us and uh, everyone should be knowing everything next slide please next slide please so some of the context here given is uh, about the delivery of learning resources like arranging uh, the increasing order of difficulty as well as learning management systems i have already spoken about canvas as well as uh, canvas as well as tcs iron learning management systems uh, these are some of the examples which we practice actually flip classroom teaching learning approach this is some of the asynchronous approach of learning and synchronous as well as asynchronous approach is something which is actually the need of the hour and live interaction between the mentor and the teachers uh, and the learners the online or in person so this is actually a synchronous approach and asynchronous is there is no live interaction between learners and mentors there is a physical lab studio delivery of practical learning so nowadays hum log kya karte hain hum synchronous approach mein bhi class karate hain asynchronous mein bhi karate hain and uh, इसको हम एक साथ क्या बोलते हैं इट्स एक्चुअली नोन एज हाइब्रिड मोड ऑफ टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस सो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज बीइंग प्रैक्टिस इन हाई एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस आल्सो सो द देयर आर सम ऑफ द लर्नर्स एंगेजमेंट इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वी फाइंड दैट इंटीग्रेटिंग सोशल नेटवर्किंग इन लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट गूगल फॉर्म्स एंड देन देयर आर पोल्स एंड क्विजेस डिबेट्स एंड डिस्कशन as well as virtual lab studios uh, can we go to the next slide please for the learners and students then uh, along with educational apps google classroom and platforms such as webex go to meeting ms teams these are some of the ways through which we teach and learn in a very uh, collaborative environment next slide please so it is actually about the advanced learners Uh, through the artificial intelligence personalizing the learning experience by using smart books kuch to aise hai audio video graphic human utility analysis uh, this is something which is very much important gamification of learning learning through games hum agar games ke uh, through ye karte hai to it becomes very much important uh, our uh, students bhi achhi tarah se the trainee teachers achhi tarah se ye जानते भी है कुछ लोगों का इंटरेस्ट भी है सो गेमिफिकेशन ऑफ लर्निंग वी आर एंड ए आर एप्लीकेशन दिस शुड बी द आउटकम एंड ईज ऑफ द लर्निंग नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज सो हाउ डू वी डू द लर्नर्स इवेल्युएशन वी डू इट थ्रू द फॉर्मेटिव कंटिन्यूअस कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव इवेल्युएशन एंड समेटिव कोर्स एंडिंग बोथ द असेसमेंट डायग्नोस्टिक क्विजेस फ्लेक्सिबल ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन आर समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट as well as imperative
it's a network issue soon biswas madam will join us again we find also the quiz quiz is something which is dependent on the project based presentations as well as online offline internships as well as the live projects a physical lab or studio based assessment live written assessment which is very important for the physical evaluation interview based assessment as well as time bound task based response dissertations these are something which is very important and uh, we find that it is something which gives us a very much important aspect if we are doing a online test and a quiz the evaluation becomes very much uh, interesting also to ye bhi ek cheez hai jisme hum online test aur quiz bhi kar sakte hain jisme hum bahut si achhi tarah se and students ko ek interest bhi la sakte hain through this process now i will skip this uh, slide of the teaching methods because more or less it's being discussed but uh, we will go through the uh, group discussion group discussion is something some of the things which should be practiced in today's classrooms like uh, group discussion at the same time we will be uh, practicing something about seminars and presentations which are very much important to know and uh, live seminars are something at the same time physical seminars uh, should be practiced in a very proper way symposium is something which is also uh, very much in important and to know about uh, the learner and the teacher centric approach and atmosphere especially uh, when we are teaching the ma teacher trainings it is very important for them to know about the different forms of seminars and different types of seminars panel discussion is something which is uh, being discussed and which is being very much important in the long run and panel discussion is there not only we should prepare the students but we should also prepare the adult students also A role play method is something which is practiced uh, specially in the teacher training uh, programs as well as in the schools this is something which is very important uh, to uh, take the interest of the learners agar hum role play karte hain to learners bhi bahut interested ho jate hain but still it is quite time consuming but hum try kar sakte hain this role play method role play method is also very much uh, interrelated with simulation next we go to the project method we already know about the uh, project method uh, there is something where uh, we give a common uh, topic and uh, work together like fun and playing together this is something the project is developed the teacher is actually the main person who is developing the um, idea of the project and the learners or the students are working together as a team so this also gives them a sense of responsibility sense of uh, not only learning but a sense of togetherness a sense of team building so project building has a lot of uh, good things also next also is the field trip uh, teacher education mein to hum jante hi hai that uh, field trip ek important aspect hai in schools also field trip is something picnics or something जो हम बहुत कराते हैं सो दैट दे बिकम वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड एंड उधर से हम कुछ कलेक्ट भी कर सकते हैं सोर्सेस जहां से एक प्रोजेक्ट भी हम कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट वी गो फॉर द वर्कशॉप दिस इज एक्चुअली अ पार्ट ऑफ अ टाइप ऑफ अ वर्कशॉप मोड हम देख ही रहे हैं जहां मैंने एक पिक्चर दिया है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन डे वर्कशॉप ऑफ सिम्यूलेशन बेस्ड लर्निंग सो सिम्यूलेशन इज समथिंग विच इज बींग वेरी मच प्रैक्टिस by the teacher educators by the teacher trainees so kuch uh, workshop simulation ke upar bhi hote hain aur different uh, aspects mein bhi hote hain so this is something which is very much important at the same time exhibition exhibition uh, schools mein hum bahut achhi tarah se uh, karate hain in the uh, training institutes also through the uh, teacher trainees they also give a good sort of a exhibition actually it Uh, builds in them a sense of a teacher building uh, context kyunki jab wo become they become the class teachers wo log jab class teacher ya teachers hote hain to wo bhi karwa sakte hain un 
स्कूल के बच्चों को इनफैक्ट देर आर लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स माई स्टूडेंट हु आर वेरी मच सक्सेसफुल टीचर्स अभी भी वो एग्जीबिशन कराते हैं मुझको फोटो भेजते हैं एक्चुअली जो भी है जो भी टीचर एडुकेटर्स इम्पोर्टेंटली uh, एक अच्छा गाइड या मोटिवेटर या मेंटर का रोल प्ले करते हैं ना वो सबको यू शुड एक्चुअली एंड इम्बाइव फ्रॉम मी दिस आइडियाज एक्चुअली आर ऑल्सो योर्स के आप लोगों को भी कोई न, कोई जो टीचर एडुकेटर है जो हैज लिव्ड द प्रॉपर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ अ टीचर एडुकेटर वो भी रेजोनेट कर सकते हैं मेरे डिलीवरेशन के कि वो लोग भी एक्चुअली क्या करते हैं कि स्टूडेंट लोग उन लोगों को शेयर करते हैं कि मैम या सर हम टीचर हो गए हैं लेकिन जो हमने सीखा है वो आपके साथ हम शेयर कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द बेस्ट एक्नोलॉजमेंट ऑफ अ टीचर एडुकेटर अगर वो शेयर करते हैं तो टीचर हो गए हैं सक्सेसफुल टीचर शेयर कर रहे हैं कि हम ये प्रोग्राम हमारा टीचर ट्रेनिंग कॉलेज से सीखा है और अभी हम बच्चों को ये करवा रहे हैं सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज द प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ टीचिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग जो बहुत अच्छी तरह से एक प्रैक्टिकल uh, नॉलेज से हम उनको भी एक फीडबैक मिलता है कि हम लोग ए, जो किया द स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिसिंग इन द लॉन्ग रन ऑल्सो प्रोग्राम इंस्ट्रक्शन जो मैंने आपको पहले ही बताया है दिस इज समथिंग विच द स्टूडेंट सेल्फ लर्न एंड उधर से फाइनली दे हैव अ इवेल्युएशन कॉन्टेक्स सो प्रोग्राम इंस्ट्रक्शन इज समथिंग जो इवेल्युएशन कॉन्टेक्स में हम डील करेंगे या डील कर रहे हैं एंड वी फाइंड इट वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट then problem based learning this is something uh, which i already have uh, taught or uh, told you so this is uh, the problem based learning with questioning creativity and thinking this is something which is uh, very much interrelated with the creative thinking process agar aap question nahi karte hai to aapka creative process bhi nahi aayega and this is actually the problem based learning through which we can go in a proper and creative manner so this is uh, something which is very important in the present in the 21st century so having uh, gone through all the slides and my title and the topic was effective classroom teaching so to tell you in conclusion that teaching is a distinctive human activity of imparting knowledge through various methods the means by which the students assimilate a share of it it is an activity which is practiced and perfected with skill teaching hum actually kisi ko pura sikha nahi sakte teaching is something jo hamare andar se aate hain and creativity jo hamare andar se aate hain like motivation bhi hamare andar se hi aate hain so ye actually kuch rocket science type ka kuch cheez nahi hai दिस इज समथिंग जो आपके मन में जो अच्छी कुछ चीज आप अगर पढ़ाने चाहते हैं तो आपके स्किल के हिसाब से आप पढ़ाना चाहेंगे ना ऐसे तो नहीं है कि हम प्रोग्राम इंस्ट्रक्शन कर देंगे एंड यू विल बी लाइक अ रोबोट एंड यू विल बी टीचिंग सो टीचिंग शुड बी समथिंग विच शुड बी वेरी नेचुरल ऐसे नहीं लगे कि हम रॉटे लर्निंग करके हम टीचिंग कर रहे हैं टीचिंग नेचुरल ये टीचिंग कुछ ऐसे आना चाहिए जैसे हम फ्लो कर रहे हैं एक रिवर में जैसे हम फ्लो कर रहे हैं हम फ्लो करते हैं द बोट्स विच फ्लो एक्चुअली इन अ प्रॉपर वे ऐसे ही हमको फ्लो करना था टीचिंग uh, में फ्लो करना है एंड दैट इज व्हाई देयर आर ग्रेट टीचर्स हु हैव शोन इन द हिस्ट्री इन द पास्ट इन द प्रेजेंट एंड वील बी डूइंग इट इन द फ्यूचर there are some of the students which we have seen this teach so effortlessly unko sikhana bhi nahi padta unko techniques thoda guide kar dena padta hai so this is something which actually comes from within but of course there are some different ways of innovative techniques of teaching and learning which we should know as a 21st century teacher and as a 21st uh, century uh, teacher trainer and as a teacher trainer so uh, thank you for listening to me uh, for the last 45 minutes it has been a great learning experience for me also 
because i am always a learner more than a teacher i am always a learner i believe in the lifelong learning process so that is why i am still learning i am still learning through the deliberations uh, day by day it's been wonderful uh, speaking about teaching and uh, about the effectiveness of teaching uh, with shanti niketan international school as well as in association with the council of uh, teacher education foundation delhi ncr chapter it's been a wonderful learning experience for me i would definitely like to apologize for the technical and the technological uh, problem uh, which we all have faced and uh, due to that uh, maybe there was a 5 7 minutes uh, gap in my deliberation so that is actually one of the um, disadvantages of the um, uh, zoom platform or rather say the online teaching learning platform so uh, we sometimes face this type of difficulties which uh, i have also faced or rather we all together have faced so uh, thanks to all of you for listening to me even after the technical difficulty so patiently and so uh, very much uh, properly you have been very much active participants and uh, great listeners also so i thank all of you uh, thank you uh, principal ma'am and chairman sir as well as uh, uh, gupta sir and kumar sir for giving me this platform uh, definitely in the long run uh, we will be having some more deliberation uh, depending on this type of a teaching learning process as well as uh, the innovative methods of the teaching learning process thank you over to the organizers thank you very much ma'am for your educative and inspirational training which will really be helpful to us in our education life now may i request mr nilesh nindani to please deliver the vote of gratitude warm and grateful morning one and all present here my sincere thanks to all mighty god for making today's event a real success thank you very much dr prathita viswas ma'am we had an opportunity to hear your thought and this will surely be going to encourage us in our future even thanks to entire team and all the participants once again thanks for joining daily updates will given on whatsapp group and please fill the feedback form have a good day thank you